yo what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel um they just dropped a trailer for the christopher reeve slash superman documentary uh that's yeah. going to come out but uh, if you are new here please consider hitting the like button subscribing and um and clicking that bell helps out the channel a lot it's completely free it just you, you know it, it it helps us out a lot and the algorithm gets us recommended to people that watch this type of content so that would be greatly appreciated but obviously we're gonna go ahead and react to this place your comments down below as always on this trailer your thoughts on anything related to this but we are yeah. fully prepared to be emotional <laughs> like we are fully i mean you look at this logo and you think of one person it's a pretty lengthy trailer it's like thing. three and a half you think minutes. of one thing like that's like honestly i think if they would have like went with like a different logo for the reversion it still would have been like really popular but like i feel like he made Tra this logo so po that those not even made trailers this logo so popular documentaries about these actors that like i adore it always hits i know last year i mean his still, favorite movie last year was still still a, a an incredible robbery i don't even think it made the short list uh for the oscars which is ridiculous i mean could you see this getting like an oscar nomination or something? i don't know i don't know but still absolutely should have like still was phenomenally edited it was it it, it was just it was so his favorite weird. movie of the year it wasn't my favorite movie Stop. of the year, but it was. Oh, was it? Right I thought it was. There. No, that was. Got to be top three for you, right? Definitely, definitely okay, yeah. top three. I knew but, it was uh, up there for you. But... It was phenomenal. I hope you know this is great too, and uh, it, it is it releasing too right before like another Superman movie. I like that. That's that's good. I'm really interested to see what goes down in this and how much they cover. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this reaction for this trailer to, what is it? Is, is it Super Man, Super Slash Man? Which is actually a pretty cool title, but let's go ahead and get into this reaction to the Superman Christopher Reeve documentary trailer. DMCA. Already copyright strike. Everybody's looking for Peak. a hero. I am not a hero. That was a part. I played the part. I'm not that man. Then we really get to see the Rizzler in action. Hands down. This is daily life. McQueen. Are we talking about like Steve if McQueen? If I could pull off this part, it would change my life. John Hausman said, Mr. Reeve, it is very important to become a serious classical actor. It is kind of crazy course, how they were able to find money such to a perfect else. Superman like at, the, at this time. He convinced me when I first met him that he would fly. Doing things to my dad. It was all about activity and action. Riding bikes, playing soccer, skiing. Oh, the music is so good. Very competitive, and he didn't necessarily slow down. We said goodbye, and he gave this wave. Earl literally did everything. That was the last time I saw him on his feet. God, his kids look just like him. His jeans are strong as shit. No movement. Oh, God. He got the Superman jeans. Superman, crazy. Just that simple little thing over the horse. I'd ruined my life and everybody else's. I won't be able to ski, sail, throw a ball to Will. Won't be able to make love to Dana. Maybe we should let me go. She came flying in and she just yelled, I love you. I love you. And then she said the words saved my life. You're still you, and I love you. He and Robin were such good friends because they could match each other. Robin also had struggles that he oh, dealt man. with his whole Come on. life. And I think oh, I love Robin. Come on. Come on. Darkness. Brother, I mean, this is destined like to make you cry. When you find people who fight like that but still keep their humanity, Come on, that man. gives you great hope. I did not expect to see him, and I did not know either. he was like, such a like, close like, friend. I'm not going to lie. This is emotion overload. Knowing... <laughs> But Christopher Reeve lost. and Robin Williams. I felt I needed to do something not just for myself, but for everyone else in the same condition. The fact that Superman was in a wheelchair and was willing to go public with it was huge. Help is on the way. The Christopher and David. Oh, the music. 
Dude, there's so much the that music. I do not know. Walking because of him. Like I did not know about Chris Barry just from the trailer. Look at that, that's Where's peak right there. My answer was that a hero is someone who commits a courageous action without considering the consequences. Oh, the now my definition is completely different. I think a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and God, he has such a big family though, like. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. These visuals are pretty cool. Oh, it's in theaters? I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't know, even know they I mean, were selling sense. tickets. But wow. Oh, that's nice. All right, everyone. That was the trailer for Superman, the Christopher Reeve story. Give your quick thoughts while I sip um, this water. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to watch this. I wonder, like, what I wonder how long it's going to be. Mm hmm. There, just from this that's trailer, that's what was alone, going through my mind. Not only is this a long trailer. Pretty long it's a pretty lengthy trailer i mean i could look it up there's talk. so much stuff in this trailer that i did not know about chris Reeve. like personally an hour like 44 past... an hour 44 okay so we're going um, through everything but um likely. yeah like there's so much stuff in this trailer that i just did not like know about chris Reeve personally that i'm you know I, I, it's gonna be cool to to see that kind of stuff um and i mean yet yeah, like I don't know if I'm gonna go see this in a, in in theaters. I mean, I might if it's like, you know what I mean. If it's like, I don't gotta make a big like trip or anything, or anything yeah. to yeah. to go see it because it would probably end up releasing on Max pretty quickly, anyways. But um, yeah. I mean, this looks. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I, I don't think they're gonna really cheap out on a story about Chris Reeve. No, I'm pretty sure this was made tell, like, like years ago, but then they picked yeah. it up. What didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, like even like the whole inclusion of Robin Williams, I never knew that Chris Reeve and Robin Williams were close. We're like close, that. yeah. Me neither. I had and no it, clue about that. I mean, just seeing Robin Williams, honestly, yeah, like Chris Reeve is one you. thing. It Robin Williams you. crushes me. I'm sorry, like, and like just knowing that they were both best friends. Oh, th this movie's gonna do destroy me like it is going to destroy me but um yeah, yeah i mean it, it looks really good um the music like the way they put the music throughout this trailer yeah dude the john williams score and turning it kind of epic Some good rendition pretty yeah. sick pretty and again pretty like amazing. i said um earlier before the reaction this coming out before another superman movie a superman movie that's obviously probably going to be closer to these movies to the yeah Reeve, i guess to the yeah. Reeve movies um it's cool and it's it's um at, at least there's there's something for the audience to like you know look at and and, and digest before going into a new superman more like media that. Some, yeah, something yeah, yeah. else yeah because, because i mean uh, there's a lot of people that not only remember this superman again this logo he made this logo synonymous bro like he just did like i understand that this was the logo in the comics and stuff not everybody reads comics though more people watch movies than read comics if i had to like really be honest and real at that time but the thing is yeah i mean yeah, it's, that's I, even I mean, more evident like, now uh, yeah i was gonna say i feel like it's even more evident now and like he made this logo like you see the it anywhere superman you logo. think of superman but especially like uh, up until like the maybe like the early 2000s you see this logo you see chris Reed. so it's just like you know i i, I can't wait to to see what they do with the with his story and like what new things that that I find out because past the Superman stuff I didn't know much obviously besides um his disability and stuff like that like past him being Superman and that stuff I didn't I didn't really know much and it seems like in this movie they're gonna like shine some light on like a lot of the stuff he was doing behind the scenes which is like really like I'm looking at like Obama talk about it. I'm like I've never seen this in my life like I've never seen this stuff in my life so yeah I mean hopefully it'll give new people new audiences who maybe did not grow up on the reversion of the Superman movies you know or didn't grow up really watching Superman at all 
maybe they'll tune into it and this will kind of warm them up get them excited for some more superman stuff next year stuff like that but i mean yeah i mean the trailer's beautiful like i mean i'm again yeah. it's probably gonna destroy me and everybody else watching it um, i mean you pretty much just said everything i was gonna say mostly for the most part um where do I, I, I'm curious if they'll have any like Smallville stuff in here. Cause I remember seeing him in Smallville and just yeah, being like, I remember that, like wowed. And I, I, I wonder how much they're covering. Um, it's under two hours. So it's like, they got to kind of, that's why I ask. Cause like you watch this trailer and it's I like, mean, it, it depends like on covering... how you cut things. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. E like, like even in that Michael J. Fox documentary, I, I'm pretty sure it's even shorter. Yeah. It's like an hour and a really? half, but they managed to cover a lot through like the the way they decided to edit that movie, and um, yeah, I'm really curious how much they cover. It's such a tragedy because it was it was an actor who, you know, at the time, like you wanted a big name, like people people chose big name actors for those type of roles. It was very unconventional to choose a no name actor the way they do it yeah. now now it, like there is no a-list actors anymore the, like that doesn't affect the box office anymore it's the character you have to make the audience fall in love with chris evans was like pretty much relatively a nobody before he played captain america all people knew him as was fantastic four but because people loved captain america now they know chris evans and and that's kind of the approach christopher they they had with christopher reeve he was such a talented actor but kind of just you know not well known to the public he was kind of yeah. under the radar and he just shot into the I stratosphere said during the trailer i was like i'm surprised that at the time they were able to find such a perfect person yeah for superman it's like not only like in terms of acting and like like the way that they conduct themselves and stuff like that like, even like outside of the silver screen but like just in terms of like physical attributes yeah. and stuff like, like it's like yeah i'm so sur like everything about the reeve look at that time is like per like it's like perfect it, yeah. it, like, it's, they it's, even it's started crazy. modeling comics they after peaked. after they him. peaked they peaked it, <laughs> it <laughs> they peaked <laughs> It was phenomenal, and it, it was so tra it's so tragic to, for his career to kind of like end so abruptly. Abrupt, and, and yeah. Too too early. Too soon, man. Too soon. And it it's just it's such a tragedy. But that's why I like this kind of stuff because it's showing you, you know, even even, even when he that, was even with that, like yeah, he still tried to. It's like he almost tried to be the Superman when he yeah like, I really do he love the feeling it on of this like, trailer. It was very hopeful. It very you know it got your emotions swelling, but through through pure like happiness. I mean, it felt like, like a celebration of Christopher Reeves' life rather yeah. than a documentary on like the tragedy. It felt like yeah. a more celebration of what came out of just him existing yeah. him playing that role and what came of, of it and it's 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 quite interesting and, and i'm very curious to see what like you said uh any new things that i'm informed of in this and also you know how this how people will will how people will discover christopher reeve and if this will yeah. open eyes to like you know people that d had no clue about him and um yeah it's just it's very interesting and i'm so glad that that they picked this up because this not yeah. being distributed under dc would have felt weird i'm not gonna lie would have felt odd but uh yeah i cannot wait to see it will i be an absolute wreck yes there will be you know kleenex boxes all over the place but I cannot wait. Uh, you guys tell us in the comments below, though, Let what you guys know. thought about this trailer, about Christopher Reeve as Superman. Maybe your opinions on those movies. Anything What's your favorite related to this. What's your favorite yeah, Christopher anything. Reeves? Anything. Uh, Any, yeah. It could be the Superman movies. It could be little cameo. It, it could be matter. your favorite interview of Christopher Reeve. Like, yeah. literally anything place it in the comments below and if you made it this far and you haven't please consider hitting the like button subscribing and clicking that bell it helps out the channel a ton but other than that it's been your boy keezy being boy kills 
and hopefully we will see you all in the next one.